Hello, this screencast will teach you how to use the online automation service, if this, then that, to automate your social media presence online and give you a couple of extra minutes for your ministry. The first step is to log on to the if this, then that website, that's ifttt.com, and join if this, then that. Once you have joined If This Then That, you're ready to get started. If This Then That is based around the concept of recipes. So we will go ahead and create our first recipe to help us to remember to go and shut off the water at our church when it gets too cold. If This Then That has a very simple interface. You begin by creating a trigger by clicking on this. We're going to search for a weather trigger. And we'll activate it by searching for our location. Continuing to the next step, we will, we will tell it to trigger when the current temperature drops below 35 degrees Fahrenheit. And when it does that, we're going to tell it to send us an email. All of this default looks good. And we're going to cl click Create Recipe. Now, every time it's going to drop below 35 degrees, we'll get an email and it will remind us to go and turn off the water at the church. If you're like most people, you can be overwhelmed with the number of different social media outlets that you have to manage. If this, then that can give you a little bit of automation to help you along the way. Let's show you a couple of recipes you can use for that. It's important when you have different social media accounts to have a consistent branding across the different accounts, consistent avatars, consistent looks and feels. And it's nice to freshen up those looks from every now and then, but it can be difficult to keep up with that because it means that every time you want to make a change, you have to make it to multiple different accounts. So let's see what If This Then That can do to help us with that. So we're going to start by creating a trigger related to Facebook because for us, that is our first account that we manage most actively. Whenever you initiate any of these triggers, you've got to activate it. So we're going to activate the Facebook account. Click OK to the privacy questions. And now it's activated. What we're wanting to do is to have our profile picture changed on our Twitter account when we change it on our Facebook account. We're going to tell if this, then that to create a trigger when our profile changes. And when our profile changes, we're looking for the profile picture. The trigger we're going to create is whenever our profile picture changes, then we're going to ask it to change our Twitter picture. Again, we'll need to activate it. And tell it to update our profile picture. So now, whenever we change our Facebook profile picture, it will automatically change our Twitter profile picture. But let's take it to the next step. We can create a recipe that will help us to cross post whatever we post on Twitter to Facebook. It's important to choose Twitter to cross post to Facebook instead of the other way around so that you don't have a truncated post because Facebook allows more characters than Twitter. So whenever we do a new tweet, we're going to have it 
post that same tweet as a status message on Facebook. You'll notice that there's a field here that we could simply type something in, but we want to, cr to click the plus sign and select the ingredient, the text of our tweet and add that ingredient. So what this means now is that when we post a tweet to, to Twitter, it will take the text of that tweet, put it in a status message, and post it to Facebook. We'll click Create Recipe, and it's done. Another great feature of If This Then That is the auto-posting feature based on RSS. Most blogs or blog-based websites like WordPress offer an RSS feed for people to grab the information that is on your website. The great part about an RSS feed is that whenever you update your blog or your website, that update is pushed into the RSS feed. And when a program like If This Then That monitors the feed, they can auto-post any updates that you have to your social media accounts. So let's create a recipe. We've gone and copied the RSS feed from our website already. And so we'll say if this, and we'll search for feed. This is an RSS feed. We'll say there is a new feed item. That means a new update to your blog. And we'll paste in the URL, create the trigger. Now it's going to monitor the RSS feed for our blog. And when it finds a new item, we're going to tell it to post that to Facebook. Now this is a great place to use the status message and add a couple of different elements. So since this is a blog, we'll say great new blog post. Check it out. Click the plus sign and add the entry title. That'll be the title of the blog post. And then the entry URL. Now anytime we have a new blog post, it'll say great new blog post. Check out the title of our blog post followed by the URL of our blog post. We'll create the action, create the recipe, and it's done. We can create the same sort of recipe for our Twitter account or our other social media outlets. One of my favorite uses for If This Then That deals with collecting pictures from social media. You have an event, people are taking pictures, they're tagging you in it, and you really would like them all to send you all of those pictures in an email so you can use them in the church newsletter this month. And as much as you'd like that to happen, it just doesn't. If this, then that can be a good solution. So let's create a recipe, this time using Instagram. We'll activate it. Continue to the next step. So we're going to go ahead and click New Photo by Anyone tagged. This will create a trigger based on any photo anyone puts in with the tag of our event. So we'll just call our event CUMC Christmas and we'll create the trigger. Now if we instruct everyone to use the CUMC Christmas tag on Instagram, whenever they do that, we will ask Instagram to send it to us in an email. Send me an email, and we'll add the ingredient URL that will allow us to have a list of all the pictures that happen at that event. We'll go ahead and create that action and create the recipe. But let's take that to a different level. We'll start by creating the same trigger with Instagram. But instead of having it send us an email, we'll use the Dropbox command. Now 
Now this will grab any picture that's on Instagram and place it into our Dropbox. Dropbox is a cloud storage platform that is free for the first two gigabytes and integrates with if this, then that. Create the action, create the recipe. Now, when anybody posts an image from our event on Instagram, we'll get an email about it, and that picture will be saved to our Dropbox. If you'd like to learn more communication tips for church leaders, go to www.umcom.org. Have a blessed day.